I will be telling you a little bit more about how the Lions of Leon have been doing. We're going to be checking on Brutus and Maggie. Our vet, Dr. Johanna Bear, is here to dart them for a general health check. Good day and welcome to another episode of Shomwari TV. Today we are here at the Jean Bird Center that is in the northern part of Shomwari Private Game Reserve. And I will be telling you a little bit more about how the Lions of Leon have been doing. It's been a few months since the Lions of Leons have been paired with their new partners. That is now King and Siam and everything is going extremely well. Tia and King are doing very well. They've adapted nicely to each other. They're enjoying their enclosure. We've seen them on many occasions rubbing heads, chasing each other up onto their man-made jungle gym. So everything good so far. Cersei and CM are doing very well. We've observed CM trying to mate with Cersei, which is really good for their bonding. And keep in mind, although they mate, there will be never cubs born in our sanctuary. CM has been vasectomized. So, so far, everything is going extremely well. The two brothers, Horace and Dadu, they've adapted very well. I think they still miss their sisters, but hey, it's better to have six happy lions at the end. And they enjoy their enclosure. They up on their man-made structures, which we call their jungle gyms. Very affectionate towards each other. So yeah, everything very well. Today we're at our Born Free Big Cat Sanctuary in the south of Shamari, the Julie Ward Centre, where we're going to be checking on Brutus and Maggie. When we do these procedures, we wait for our lions to move into their hospital camps, which is what we call the smaller enclosure that is part of their greater enclosure, to be able to sedate them and work optimally and in a safe environment with them. So today, our vet, Dr. Johanna Bear, is here to dart them for a general health check, but also just to check on some concerns that Glenn Werner, our animal care manager, has. We darted Brutus to check on his claws that tend to grow into the pads of his paws. This is not something that happens with all of our lions, just he obviously doesn't have a tendency to sharpen his claws or just to file them down on a tree. So it's something that we generally need to do with Brutus to prevent them from being ingrown. Dr. Johan was happy with Brutus's overall general condition for a 20-year-old lion. Brutus arrived here in 2008. He was a, an ex-French circus lion. The circus was bankrupt and he was left in a beast wagon and starving when Born Free managed to rescue him and bring him to our sanctuaries here at Chamari. We sedated Maggie shortly after Brutus had woken up and we were happy that he was in good health. Maggie has had an ongoing problem where her appetite is up and down. So we thought we would just take some blood to send off to the pathologists and just make sure that all of her blood values are healthy and there was nothing that we needed to do to intervene to make sure that she could stay a healthy lioness. Maggie, along with her sister Sonia, were rescued from a German circus in 2015. They were homed in the Natura Help Centrum in Belgium while we were busy getting the paperwork ready to bring them back here to Shamari to their forever home. Maggie had her tail amputated in the time that she was at the Natura Help Centrum in Belgium and this was what we call the price of her freedom. If she hadn't had a tail infection where the German authorities had picked up that she was not being well looked after in the circus in Germany, she would not have been moved away from that circus. So ultimately, the price of her freedom was her tail. She's in 100% health now though, and she lives a happy life along with her sister Sonia and Jerry, one of our other male lions, who we introduced to the sisters at a later stage. We have done our rounds with all of our cats. We've checked on Mowgli, our black leopard that we have resident here. 
He's doing well, but still incredibly elusive, but we have some brilliant camera trap footage of him that we use on a regular basis just to double check on his well-being, if he's maintaining weight, if he's strong and fit, and also just to see what his habits are within his enclosure here in our sanctuary. Dr. Johan was happy with the condition of all of our animals, and we look forward to just spending more time with them in their home here at Shamari. Thank you for watching this episode of Shamari TV. To find out how you can help, follow the links in the description below. Stay tuned for more Shamari TV.